Hello there everybody, this is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics Collect and Connect Wave 10 Imperiax figure. Um, I want to, first of all, I want to, before I say anything about the figure, I want to thank you so much, Strident, for just sending me basically the right arm here. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, I really, really appreciate it, dude. You are you are awesome for <laughs> helping me uh, complete this. And he is on the list, so thank you, sir. You definitely helped me. Thank you so much for uh, sending me this arm. He just decided he's like, oh, I have an extra Imperiax arm. Would you like it? And I was like, Okay, thank you so much. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> so, uh, Strident, if you do watch this review, um, thank you so much, and uh, PM me, I, I have something for you, or I'll PM you, I should probably just PM you, that makes more sense. Yeah. So, I do have uh, something for you, my friend, thank you so much for helping me fig uh, finish this figure, and uh, he looks really, really cool. Really cool. Extremely menacing. I mean, look at that face. A face only a mother could love. Mommy, why don't you love me? Because you're ugly. Oh. No. Anyways, um, <laughs> unfortunately, there is a problem though with this figure, and it wasn't, and it's, it's not anything against the, uh, uh, the, the design of the figure. It's there's no like. Uh, Problem with the figure itself. Um, it, it's a QC problem. Um, I'm gonna bring it right up right now. Um, his leg joint isn't pegged in all the way. So if you can see here, the leg is, as you can see on there, this leg. Oh boy, I can't see anything. There we go. On this part of the leg, it's nice and tight jointed. On this part of the leg, it's bowing out, and the peg isn't through the peg hole. So, yikes. So it's kind of leaning out to the his right a little bit when I, when I put it in. See, as you can see here, the peg is through the peg hole there, but it's not through the peg hole here. So that kind of sucks. And uh, hopefully his leg never falls off, but, I mean, he does stand fine. Um... It's not really that big of a problem. I don't really want to mess with it and pull the peg out and then have to re-peg it, but because I'm not really sure how to do that. But um, I guess if it happens, I'll have to just get a new leg, I guess. But anyways, still a really great looking figure. I think that's the only problem I really have with this figure. Uh, I definitely dig the, uh, the Kirby-esque design here. Uh, Yes, very Kirby, very Jack Kirby. So, um, he does look really cool. Definitely glad to have him in uh, my villains gallery, uh, especially for a Superman villain, which is really cool. And uh, he does look really nice. Let me get to articulation first and get that out. Of so it does move side to side. Um, it does move up a little bit. And it does move down a little bit, just just enough, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have that best range of motion. But it does do full 360 if you want it to. His arms do move up about this far. Up oh, that far. There we go. Down, and it can do a full 360. If I can get all the way around, there we go. Bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow, and he does have a wrist rotation. He does have an ab crunch, which works. Waist swivel, which is nice and. Uh, Nice that it's uh, hidden by this um, skirt tunic thingy. Um, his legs do go out. Um, they do go. They do go out about that far. Um, you do get a little bit of extra room with this with the uh, this molded skirt thing thingy. I'm not sure what the technical term is for it. I'm sorry, but uh, his <laughs> legs do go forward about that far, and they do go back a little bit. It's got an upper thigh swivel, single bend at the knee, and an ankle hinge. And he also does have an ankle pivot, which is pretty cool. Um, it's nice to have an ankle pivot when you have a heavier figure or a taller figure. It helps balance the figure more. So uh, it's nice that they did give us this ankle pivot with him. I think it, it makes... Uh, for better balancing of the figure. And you want to have your, your figures balanced because you want to be able to stand them. So, 
that's my little theory of that. But he does have a lot of nice sculpting going on on his uh, costume here. And uh, the shadows playing in the background, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of sculpting going on here. All of his, um, everything pretty much on him is sculpted. I don't think anything is really painted. Um, yeah. I mean, he's got his lines going under here. That's all sculpted. He's pretty much a very nicely, oop, I'm moving the camera all over the place. Pretty, ni pretty nice uh, sculpted figure. I mean, even the lines on his boots are sculpted. Everything is pretty much sculpted on this guy. So you're getting a very well sculpted and detailed figure here. So definitely really appreciate it. Thank you again, Strident. I, like I said, I do have something for you, my friend, and I will PM you um, to say thank you. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, that's pretty much gonna close my review of the Wave 10 Collect and Connect DC Universe Classics Imperia X figure. Uh, I think I got it all in there. I think I did. So definitely two thumbs up. If I had to rate this figure, I'm probably gonna give him a, a nine. I think he's really, really good. Very well done. Very, very cool. Definitely go pick him up. Um, I gave him a nine just because of this QC problem here. That's, I mean, that's gonna eventually cause me a problem. His leg might fall off, so. <laughs> but still, nothing against the design. He's still a very good figure. So don't, you should definitely pick this guy up if you get a chance. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna close it up here for Imperiax. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the flip side.